Hi there guys, uh, my name's Neil. I'm here to present my six minute walk test app because I couldn't make it to the ACRA conference. Um, so basically what this does is actually calculates, um, helps you conduct a six minute walk test and it also sends you a report. So let's do an example of a male client who is diabetic and it's his initial assessment or as we like to call sometimes a pre-assessment. So as you can see here you can actually watch uh, a demo video, you can go to my website, uh, you can actually conduct a six minute walk test depending on which client you have and you can also calculate your BMI and age which I'll go through later and also submit a report. So let's start off with the male client who is diabetic and it's his initial assessment. So we'll go to male client, press cancel on that. Um, let's do the first step which is to do a six minute walk test. So before you do a six minute walk test usually you'd have vital signs um, so let's put those baseline vital signs in let's put the heart rate is 60 and the blood pressure is 120 on 80 okay that's all done now what you also have as a baseline is the uh, Borg scales so I actually have Borg scales here now this is the 0 to 10 scale for fatigue or shortness of breath and also the rate of perceived exertion scale here alright now for example I'm just gonna do the pre as a 1 and a 1 and let's go down there alright now that we have our baseline observations um, actually we have to do the blood sugar because he's diabetic so we'll put in 8.8 .8. let's go done now let's scroll back up Okay, so once you've um, given the client instructions about the six minute walk test, you can start the stopwatch. And once you do that as well, you can actually add laps, like so. And notice how if I touch and hold on my screen, you think the stopwatch has stopped, but if you let go, it actually is still counting upwards. Okay, so now to calculate the client's distance, you know, usually you'd need the length of track. Uh, let's put in 25 in a, as an example. Let's say the client does 22 laps and let's say they stop and they in the middle of the track and they do 15 uh, meters. We can calculate that and also add the meters. Alright, so let's scroll down like the message said and there it is there. And what we can do because it's his initial assessment is add that to the initial assessment. And then we'll scroll up and in the initial assessment it's there alright now what we can do is we can do the predicted distance as well but now minutes just clocked over so let's put in the vitals for that one minute so let's say it was uh, 99.65 excellent now for this example I'm not gonna wait for the stopwatch to clock over rather I'll just put in um, the vital signs uh, for this example. So let's just keep plugging along here. 99, 75, 99, 80. Oh, don't need those in the blood pressure. 99, 80. Fifth minute, let's say 98, 85. And for the sixth minute, let's say 99. 90 and usually we do a blood pressure here so let's say it's 150 on 80 and for a recovery at the seventh minute let's say 98 on 85 uh, eighth minute let's say 99 82 uh, ninth minute 98 80 tenth minute let's say 99 um, 75 and for the last minute which is 98 and 70 and we usually have a blood pressure here too so let's say 120 over 65 and while we're down here let's do a blood sugar so let's do 8.4 alright now let's scroll back up all our vitals have been filled in 
we also need to do the Borg scale ratings. So let's say it's a 3, a 3, and a 12. Okay, so let's go back to the timer. Now, let's fill in our predicted distance. Now, the good thing about this app is you can actually uh, choose between the on right formula or the Schroeser's formula, sometimes it's known as, and also you can actually choose the Jenkins formula as well. So my team usually uses the on right formula, and you can actually go to my website or any other um, six minute walk test documentation and look up on right's formula if you don't know what that is. So let's uh, put in some biometrics here. Now, a good thing about the age, ca uh, age here is actually I'm really bad at calculating ages, so I'm actually going to go back and use the age calculator. Uh, let's say 21. March 1945 calculate and there we have it calculates the ages to the day so I can actually add that to the mail formula like so and go to the predicted distance and there we have it I've got everything there so let's calculate that alright so I've got that now I can add that to the initial assessment Let's go back and go to the initial assessment. Now we can actually calculate the percentage of what they've done. So they've done really well there at 105. That's good. So we've got the initial assessment filled in. We haven't got the BMI filled in, so we can actually do that. That goes on the report as well. So let's calculate that. Now with the Jenkins formula, it uses the BMI for the females, so you can actually add that and it'll actually add that onto the female formula. Okay, so let's go back up there. Alright, the age is filled in, the Borg scales are filled in, the predicted distance is filled in, and look, it's only been five minutes. So, let's press done, and let's transfer all this data into the report. So, it's the initial report, so let's press that one. Let's click OK. Let's go back and let's go to submit a report. OK. So it's the initial assessment. We'll usually go to the initial report. On this page also you actually have a look at the example of what it should look like as well, the report. Now, um, when you're sending stuff, you also need to be connected to either Wi-Fi or 3G or 4G. You know, you need to be connected to the internet whenever you're emailing something. Okay, so let's go there. Let's go done. Now what you need to do is f complete the form. Alright, so now I know that um, patient confidentiality and privacy is a big thing, especially with your mobile device. So what you can do is actually just fill in. Um, the only thing that's required, if you see, is the name of the patient. So I can actually just put in patient zero as an alias. Um, I don't necessarily need to fill in the rest of uh, that form um, with the date of birth and address and the UR number but uh, for this example I will 1945 I won't really do one for the address so if you really want to uphold confidentiality privacy you can actually um, print it out put a sticker on it and just use an alias um, here you've got the height, the weight, we haven't done the waist so let's put that in let's say 94 as the Heart Foundation guidelines are. So let's scroll down and we've got the vital signs here as well, all filled in, ready to go. And also a comments box here. So let's say this client did really well as an example. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in my name and I'm going to put in my email here as well. And this is definitely, these two fields are definitely required to send your report okay so that's my name and my email which you guys can actually um, email me if you got any feedback or anything like that or if you actually have already bought the app and want to ask me more questions that'd be great so all you have to do now is go submit okay now on the iPhone usually you'll get a message but because it's the emulator um, you don't really get a message but what we can do now is actually check my email um, and see if the report has been sent. Okay, so let's go to our Safari or web browser. Alright, let's go to Hotmail. 
Let's go to the inbox. And there it is. All right. Excellent. Let's open. I think it's this one here. I must have sent it twice. All right. So it says, hello, Neil. Thank you for using the six minute walk test app. And there is a PDF report. So let's uh, download that. See if we can. There you go. And there it is. It's got everything there that I put in. BMI, all my vitals, BSLs, the assessment, and the second page there, which is a bit blank. So you can only just print the first page if you want. You can put a label on there, and you can print this a few times. And what is also good is you can actually print uh, the data is actually automatically put in there from when it was done as well. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions or concerns, let's clear that form. Um, please share this app here or contact me if you have any feedback. But um, thanks for uh, watching and I hope uh, you use it. Thanks. Bye.